Hello, this is Susanna from For Science. Today we are talking about the MyD space and particularly the uh, part of the MyD space that allows you to manage your tasks. The MyD space is an important contribution volunteered by For Science for the development of DSpace 7, and it is a complete reengineering of uh, the functionality compared to the previous DSpace versions. So for a logged in user, we go to the MyD space. And if you are authorized, not just as a submitter, but also to um, approve items, you can go to all tasks here. And uh, here, as we saw also in the submission video, uh, two main functionalities have been uh, implemented. Uh, one is a search by word. Uh, where you can search uh, uh, between all items that are in your pool and uh, um, the filters. The filters here on the left to show you, for instance, uh, how you can select by status. So if you want to look only at items that are ready for validation, you choose this filter. And here you see all items that are in your pool where you can approve them uh, so if you have uh, already reviewed the metadata, you can uh, hit on this um, button. You can reject them and they go back to the um, submitter with a message. You can edit them to review, to correct, uh, or to add metadata. Or you can return them to the pool so another uh, colleague can perform the task to, um, to validate these items. Otherwise, uh, you can choose uh, waiting for controller. And here you have uh, tasks to be claimed. So you can choose to claim a specific uh, one of them and assign this task to yourself. And as we saw, you can also uh, put them in the pool again. So if you claim it by mistake, you can, you can uh, put it back. And uh, these filters can be deactivated here in the top or directly here in a, a small window uh, for the status, so here we deactivate and we see again all the all the tasks here. And um, so, if you have a permission as a validator, you also you have this um, interface which uh, allows you to um, manage your your items in the workflow. And um, in this space seven, thanks to the contribution of For Science, um, the XML advanced workflow engine has been uh, integrated which allows enhanced flexibility and the opportunity for institutions to customize the approval workflow for the items. So in this way, you can add uh, additional uh, approval steps. Uh, you can add um, some automatic behaviors uh, for, uh, for your steps. And uh, you can configure all the filters uh, based, uh, for instance, on a specific metadata and uh, also administrative metadata, such as uh, um, being able to filter uh, by the name of uh, the submitter. And uh, more filters can, uh, can be added, for instance, a filter by date uh, and uh, um, a filter by uh, any other metadata in the items. And um, if you are an administrator, you also have an extra um, functionality here. If we go to the menu on the left, uh, we see that you have the administer workflow. If we access it, we are going to see all the tasks uh, that are in a um, repository, not just your tasks, but all the tasks uh, of all uh, uh, the people who need to approve uh, or to reject uh, uh, some items. And uh, here you have the opportunity to delete some of the items directly or uh, hitting this button, send back, you can uh, send them back to the original uh, submitter. And here again, also in the administrator um, uh, interface, you have the opportunity to search or to filter items according to specific uh, um, statuses or uh, metadata. So, uh, and uh, you can, all, of course, customize these filters. So thanks to the infrastructure that was uh, contributed by For Science, uh, it is also now possible to index objects that are in progress. And this means that you can search between items that have not been published. They are uh, in a workflow or in a workspace of a submitter. 
And um, so in uh, this um, version beta three of the space seven, it has been possible to implement the administrator workflow management, providing the same uh, search and filter support. Goodbye.